What's up guys and welcome to another episode of Perez Garage 704 where we upload at least twice a week sick builds, fast cars, and fun vlogs. So I've actually got a special video planned for you guys today. We are finally going to start working on the Fiat. I know it's been a while. I haven't made any videos about builds on it, but that's going to all change. So today we are taking the old axles out of the car and tomorrow morning I'm actually going to take those down to a Fiat dealership in South Carolina and pick up the new ones hopefully. So stay tuned for that, but for now, we'll just get those out, those old ones out and make way for the new ones. Alright guys, so let's get started. taking the punch and popping out these little locking rings that way we can unscrew it You might have to get creative a little bit because these things can be a little bit tough to get out. have someone step on the brake but you're basically just gonna fuck me okay guys so the best way i found to remove this axle nut is actually to use an impact gun and lots of pb blaster and just buzz it off and make sure you don't lose it okay guys so the next thing you're going to want to do is remove the two bolts that hold the strut to the spindle now for this car this nut is actually a 17 so I'm actually going to use the impact gun and a crescent wrench and just get that off real quick
Okay, so after you have those nuts off, you're just gonna wanna pop these bolts out. Sometimes they're a little bit difficult, but you're not gonna break them. Okay, and also be very careful of your brake lines. You don't want to rip those. That would be very bad. Okay guys, so now go ahead and remove the little clips that hold your brake lines in. There's these little springs and you can actually go ahead and just pop off the brake line from there. Okay. Okay, so the last step to this for right now is go ahead and just pop off that in the axle and try to wiggle it out. We're gonna actually turn the wheel this way. Let's see if we can just pull it straight out. Got it. Yeah, so I don't know if you guys can tell, but all of that right down in there, that's all just grease that slung everywhere from when that boot exploded. You can see how badly it's ripped right here. That's actually supposed to be attached. So just to protect your brake lines, it's probably a pretty good idea to uh, at least attach one of these bolts. It doesn't matter which one. I like to attach the, the one on the top of this, the spindle to the bottom of the coilover. And that should at least keep it in place for now. That way you don't stretch out these brake lines. Okay guys, update. I cannot for the life of me get that stupid tripod joint out. Okay guys, it's about one in the morning. I've been playing with this thing for several hours now and it took a lot of wiggling. But I was finally able to get that stupid thing out. That was rough, time to do the other side. I think we should make this a little quicker. All right, now that the wheel's off, we can take the bolts off again. Just these two to hold on the strut. All right, now once again, we have to pop these little divots in this axle nut. So let's go ahead and get that. All right, and time to just buzz that thing off. Ta -da. Hey guys, so like the other side, that tripod joint back there, it's it's being real stubborn just like the other side. So I'm gonna play with it for a little bit and see if we can't get it out. So guys, we are at Addy's Harbor Dodge and Fiat, and I actually just pick up the new axles. 
So those should go in fairly soon, hopefully on Sunday. I'll keep you guys posted.